There's a very huge possibility that life might exist in any solar system where there is a presence of water, such as the subsurface aquifers on Mars or in the oceans of Jupiter's moon Europa. However, because these locations are remote, and detecting life there would require the sending of a probe to return physical samples, looking for life there is exceedingly challenging. But astronomers and the scientific body at large are more optimistic now more than ever because of several stunning revelations that the James Webb Space Telescope has made. So what are these revelations? And what do they say about life on other planets? Let's find out. The Milky Way galaxy alone contains an estimated 300 million potentially habitable planets, and some habitable Earth-sized planets are also approximately 30 light-years away from Earth. These planets are effectively the galactic neighbors of humanity. Astronomers have so far found more than 5,000 exoplanets, hundreds of which may be habitable, by utilizing indirect techniques that gauge how a planet influences its nearby star. But the issue we faced so far is that these observations can provide astronomers with data about an exoplanet's mass and size, but not much more. In order to detect signs of life on a far-off planet, astrobiologists have to examine starlight that has reacted with the planet's surface or atmosphere. If life has transformed the surface or atmosphere, these lights may carry a clear indicator called a biosignature. For the first half of its existence, even though it harbored basic, single-celled life, Earth had an atmosphere barren of oxygen. During this early period, Earth's biosignature was incredibly weak, but that changed abruptly 2.4 billion years ago when a new family of algae evolved. The algae used a process of photosynthesis that produces free oxygen. Oxygen, which is oxygen that isn't chemically bound to any other element. Since then, Light passing through Earth's oxygen-rich atmosphere has carried a distinct and noticeable biosignature. When light bounces off the surface of a substance or travels through a gas, some wavelengths of light are much more likely than others to stay stuck on the surface of the gas or material. This selective trapping of light wavelengths is what causes objects to be different colors. For example, leaves are green because chlorophyll absorbs light particularly well in the red and blue wavelengths. When light waves hit a leaf, the red and blue wavelengths are absorbed, and after this happens, green light bounces back into your eyes whenever you look at leaves. The precise makeup of the substance that the light interacts with determines the pattern of missing light. As a result, by measuring a planet's particular color of light that comes from a planet, astronomers can deduce something about the makeup of the atmosphere or surface of an exoplanet. Because these gases leave behind extremely distinct traces in light, such as oxygen or methane, this technique can be used to detect the existence of specific atmospheric gases linked to life. It could also be used to detect specific colors on a planet's surface. So how can the James Webb Telescope be of assistance? Now, in order to detect these small changes in light from a potentially habitable exoplanet, there's a need for an incredibly powerful telescope, and for the time being, the only telescope capable of accomplishing such a feat is the new James Webb Space Telescope. Since the JWST began its operation in July 2022, it has released a lot of stunning images and data. One very important one is a reading of the spectrum of the gas giant exoplanet WASP or WASP 96b. The spectrum indicates the presence of water and clouds. Although life is unlikely to exist on a planet as large and hot as WASP-96b. However, this preliminary evidence demonstrates that James Webb is capable of detecting minute chemical traces in exoplanet light. The James Webb Space Telescope will keep looking and capturing images on the solar system until we have found proof of intelligence in another world. WASP-96b is one of the thousands of exoplanets discovered in recent years. The planet has around half the mass of Jupiter, circuits its star every 3.4 days, and is situated in a solar system about 1,150 light years from Earth. Exoplanets can be found by separating the detected light into its individual wavelengths. Dips in the host star's light indicate the passage of an exoplanet between the star and the telescope. The light could potentially interact chemically with the planet's atmosphere, 
leaving a trail of evidence. Although a thorough investigation of the spectrum will require more time, some early conclusions can be made. The identified peaks in the spectrum show that water vapor is present. The fact that the water peaks are lower in height than anticipated from earlier observations is proof that clouds are present and suppressing the water vapor characteristics. A probable haze is indicated by the left side of the spectrums, shorter wavelengths, progressive downward slope. Also, the atmospheric temperature can be estimated to be around 1,350 degrees Fahrenheit, or 725 degrees Celsius, using the height of the peaks and other spectral features. This is the most comprehensive infrared exoplanet transmission spectrum ever captured. The first transmission spectrum with such high accuracy and resolution that includes wavelengths longer than 1.6 microns, and the first to cover the entire wavelength range from 0.6 microns, visible red light, to 2.8 microns, near infrared, in a single shot. The quickness with which scientists have been able to develop accurate interpretations of the spectrum also testifies to the data's quality. The James Webb Space Telescope has also captured other thrilling images in its time of operation. One exciting image that was revealed to the public was the image of a dying star in the Southern Ring Nebula. The envelopes of gas and dust blasted from dying stars are called planetary nebula. The second star in this nebula is clearly visible in Webb's powerful infrared view, along with the remarkable structures produced when the stars shape the gas and dust surrounding them. This and other fresh information gleaned from the dying stages of stars will help to improve our understanding of how stars develop and influence their surroundings. A collection of far-off galaxies can also be seen in the background of these images. The dimmer star in the center of this scene has been spewing out rings of gas and dust in all directions for millions of years, and the James Webb Space Telescope has shown for the first time that this star is cloaked in dust. The image of this planetary nebula, commonly known as the Southern Ring Nebula, and cataloged as NGC 3132, was captured by two cameras on the JWST. It is about 2,500 light years away. Webb will help astronomers to learn more about planetary nebulae like this one, which are clouds of gas and dust ejected by dying stars. Understanding which molecules are present and where they are located within the shells of gas and dust can help researchers in refining their understanding of these objects. The Southern Ring Nebula is virtually face-on in this observation. Its three-dimensional shape would more closely resemble two bowls joined together at the bottom, opening away with a sizable hole in the middle, if we could rotate it to look at it from its edge. The surroundings are shaped by two stars that are in close orbit around one another. New information about this intricate system is revealed in Webb's infrared photos. The images from Webb's near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument are prominent, and the images from Webb's mid-infrared instrument reveal for the first time that the second star is encircled by dust. The brighter star is further along in its evolution and is likely to eventually eject its own planetary nebula in the future. The James Webb Telescope also revealed stunning new images of the Stephens Quintet. This most recent Stephens Quintet image is a massive mosaic made up of about a thousand images. With more than 150 million pixels, it is Webb's biggest image to date and was captured with the help of his near-infrared camera and mid-infrared instrument. Webb was able to distinguish individual stars and the bright center of the foreground galaxy on the left side of the image because of NIR Cam's high-resolution imaging capability. A supermassive black hole, also known as an active galactic nucleus that is located in the galaxy at the top of the image is 24 million times more massive than our Sun. The supermassive black hole absorbs matter and emits light with a brightness of around 40 billion suns worth of energy. Scientists rarely see in such detail how interacting galaxies trigger star formations in one another and how the gas in these galaxies is disrupted. However, Owing to the James Webb Telescope, this is now a reality. Stephens Quintet is an excellent laboratory for investigating these fundamental processes of all galaxies, and we're only at the start of what's promised to be 
a decade of significant findings thanks to the James Webb Telescope. Now finally, is Proxima b habitable? Proxima b is tidally locked to its star, which means one side is constantly facing Proxima Centauri, and the other side is always dark. It is very close to its star, with just an 11.2 year revolution. However, red dwarf stars are not as hot as yellow dwarf stars, like our sun. There is a chance that water exists on Proxima b, and that it has an atmosphere that protects it from intense heat while also scattering heat to its dark side, but these are all speculations. However, now we can know, as the James Webb Telescope can take photos of infrared light on the surface of Proxima b, looking for patterns that would confirm whether or not this exoplanet has water or is covered by an atmosphere. However, things aren't so simple. The proposed strategy could work, but there are additional aspects to consider. For example, the presence of an atmosphere does not guarantee life. Furthermore, Proxima b could be similar to Venus, with an atmosphere 90 times thicker than ours and intense heat. In conclusion, the good news is that there's no limit to what we can discover with the James Webb Telescope, and we might soon get our answers on whether Proxima b is habitable. What do you think about this video? Let us know your thoughts down in the comment section.